Oh yeah, remember this bridge? Remember the tree next to the bridge, that ginormous red oak tree? It's gone! Yeah, we had to get it removed just like we might get with that other tree removed uh, on the other side of the house that I mentioned earlier because of a bunch of dead branches and it dying in general. I, f I don't believe I mentioned that we had to get this one removed too somewhere along the line but yeah it is gone it's kind of sad too because i got a really sweet picture of this tree once before and uh it, it was just last year actually i was around this area i kind of, i sort of framed the shot using the the trees and bushes like this or something like this and i got the sunlight glaring on the tree it was awesome sauce but nope it's gone now so it just goes to show that if you don't have your camera with you at or i should say well, I, I guess you could say if you have your camera with you at all times you won't miss a shot well potentially like this camera as i said before kind of hard to get pictures with so i thought about getting that other one and uh i i forgot to uh, give you an update on that as well the the camera, I, I was like down to $420, the Canon G12. Uh, I decided against the S95 because I really like the flip out screen, the flip and turn around screen. Well, that that uh, uh, went up to 420 or something like that. And the Canon G12 that I was looking at before was 440 but it went up to the... A full retail price of 500 I was thinking to myself, why did, it, why did it go back up? And then later on, I was looking around for reasons why that is, and I thought to m and then I found it, and I was like, oh man, I am so stupid. I didn't think of this earlier. It, it was because of the Japan earthquakes. Because, you know, it shut down Canon's factory line for a little while. So that in turn lowered their production of the camera, and yeah! So I guess I should have got the camera when it was, uh cheaper but oh well another th another thing that i would like to show here is uh I, I never i never showed this before behind our shed here is there was a tree that came down onto the shed during the winter time and if you look over here it did a little bit of damage to the rooftop and this is the tree that landed onto it. We've been chopping it up gradually. These are just, these branches right here are just some of the pieces that were attached to this rotted tree. See, it's really moist back here. So what happens is that the roots rotted out of the tree. And then you got something that looks like this. So there's nothing to hold it up and it just pretty much died out because of it. It's really too bad, but so there's nothing really we can do about it because it's so moist back here. It just sort of happened naturally. And another thing about this moisture is that it's actually making the shed sink in gradually. <laughs> and I might as well show another tree damage. Well, not tree damage, a tree that got damaged somewhere over here. If you look, see that big one that's leaning over there? Oh yeah, that is a very cracked, dead, leaning over tree. We don't know how this happened. It may have been a summer storm or something like that, but it happened like a year or two ago, and the camera is not exposing itself properly. <laughs> i got to try and get my way through here. Avoid wildflowers. Okay. <laughs> and we got this tree right here. Yeah, you can tell this one is pretty much dead. <laughs> but there's nothing we could do about it, obviously. It just... I, th I think it was some sort of storm that did that. But it was like, wow, when we seen it. Because this thing is really leaning over. And it looks like it could topple over at any time, really. Because that crack right there. And expose correctly camera. Thank you! This is another reason why I would like to get another camera. So I can control the exposure of things. 
you know, like rather than the sky overblowing the trees, like something like that, and you get like silhouettes of trees, what I would do is I would overblow the sky, so lose, the sky would lose detail, so I could focus on what I want to focus on, which is the trees, and it's still not doing a good job, but for some reason it wants to focus on that tiny leaf. <laughs> of, of all things, it has to focus on the tiny leaf. And then I think of, you know, another thing with the camera, or getting the camera is, <laughs> is how many moments, you know, I could have captured with the camera already. You know, if I would have just gotten it already. So it's kind of disappointing in that regard that I didn't pick it up because there's a lot of things that I could have filmed. But, eh. And you know, that would also increase the quality of my game videos too because I use a camera, this camera actually, to record my voice for my game videos and then I just extract the audio over the game footage. Well, this camera's mic isn't all that good if you didn't notice that before. I heard some video footage using the G12 camera and it sounds excellent. That there's no uh, distortion like this camera gets when you get too loud with it or get too close to it, whatever. So that would be a big plus as well. It would benefit everyone all around. <laughs> So that's why I'm really thinking about just picking it up. It's not like that I can't afford it. It's just that I'm, I'm kind of a the kind of person that looks for the lowest prices possible. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm kind of cheap in that regard. That I wait for the lowest price, and I kind of miss the lowest price. Well, I guess I could, could consider that like a eighty dollar lesson or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, I think that's all I'm going to put into this vlog video update thingy here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you later. Whoosh.